Ken, you're an asshole. Who has to protect Mia? Um. Whack. My sister in law didn't give my husband a chance to speak and gave him a hard smack on the face. Don't you say, um. I'm asking who should protect Mia. Well. My sister in law's fist goes up again. Me! It's me! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I am Mia, 28 years old. I live with my husband Ken and his mother at my parents in law's house. I have a disease called total mutism. This disease is characterized by a complete loss of speech. It is often triggered by stress, and I am no exception. Oh, you scared me! Are you there? If you're here, at least answer me! When did she even call me? You were just standing there in silence. Yeah, yeah, you can't talk. It's a total inconvenience that you can't talk. You're a very bad wife. And you hit the nail on the head. Come on, get ready for dinner. I go to the kitchen in silence. I want to get out of here. But my parents died early. And I have no relatives to turn to. Since I can't talk, I won't be able to survive on my own. No one will hire me. So now I have no choice but to cling to my in laws. My husband came home just in time when I finished cooking dinner. Welcome home! Dinner is ready! Let's eat! I cook the dinner, and I'm the one who serves it. But my mother in law welcomes my husband into the dining room with a proud look on her face. Oh, it smells so good. I wonder if it's curry today. I'm so hungry. Can I eat first? Don't let the smell fool you. You never know what's in it. I'll taste it first. Never know what's in it? That's a terrible thing to say. No matter how mean my mother in law is, my husband never defends me. I would never put anything in the food. Oh no! What is this? What's wrong with it? It's disgusting! Ken, don't eat it! My mother in law flipped the plate of curry and the pot into the sink. What's that look on your face? Like you're trying to tell me I'm doing something wrong? Because it's bad, of course. This is not something one should eat. I really feel sorry for Ken because his wife is a horrible cook. I wish she knew how to cook well, like me. I was so hungry. You can't waste food like that. I know. He's such a caring boy. But you know, this wasn't mom's fault. Mia wasted all the food by cooking such horrible food. I wasted food? And it's okay to throw away my food? What a bitch. That's right. Let's order Ken's favorite sushi today. Oh, that's a great idea. I won't order any for you. Days like this went on and on until one day I suddenly became ill. But there is only one saving grace in this house. My sister in law, Kate, who comes to visit me every once in a while. Hello, Mia. How are you feeling? My sister in law is my only ally. She usually works abroad and rarely comes back. 
But when she comes back, she calls me right away. Well, I guess you're not at your best yet. I hope you'll be able to talk soon. Oh, by the way, I brought this for you. What my sister in law handed me was a wedding invitation. Congratulations! I couldn't speak, so I smiled and clapped for her. Thank you! I met a nice guy at work. Mia, please be sure to come to the wedding. My sister in law took time out of her busy work schedule to hand me the invitation. That night, my mother in law was very unhappy. It's only natural that we're invited. But why did she invite Mia too? I guess because she's my wife. It's not like she had to, though. Just because they're your relatives doesn't mean they should be all invited. Isn't that normal? Well, she's a sweet girl like you. It's like she had no choice but to invite her. My sister in law is not like my mother in law or my husband in any way. She's probably more similar to my father in law. And on the day of the wedding, I was left behind by mother in law and my husband. It seems that they left while I was in the bathroom. I don't understand why they would do such a thing to me. I wonder if I would be able to find a job even if I can't talk. A thought crosses my mind. I've been holding on to them because of my illness, but I might be able to work if I talk to support centers and places that help the disabled people. Yeah, I will get a divorce. I can't stand to continue living like this. But my sister in law has done so much for me. I want to celebrate her special day at least for the last time. So I walked to the station and took a cab. I typed the destination into my phone and showed it to the driver. The driver then dropped me to the venue. When I arrived and sat down on the seat, my mother in law rolled her eyes at me while my husband just laughed. What are you doing? I looked at my mother in law silently. What's that look? You got quiet because you couldn't talk, and now you're giving me this cocky look. You have such a twisted character. You didn't even belong here, so we left you behind. You knew that, didn't you? And yet, here you are, at the wedding, a real pain in the ass. You better get out of here soon. Oh, come on, that's enough. Now that she's here, let's all celebrate Kate's new life together. Look, the ceremony is about to start. Never mind, I'm cutting ties with these people very soon. Let's focus on my sister in law's wedding for now. My sister in law looked so beautiful in her wedding dress. I couldn't help but admire her so much that I forgot about my mother in law and my husband. After the candlelight service, we had a short free time, so I went to see my sister in law. I smiled at my sister in law and applauded her. Mia, thank you for coming today. I showed my phone to my sister in law. Of course, let's take a picture together. My sister in law is truly a warm hearted person. She understands everything I want to say. As you'd expect from my sister in law, her other friends are crowding the table to see her. I bowed and returned to my seat. Then, my mother in law held a glass of wine in front of me and poured it upside down on my chair while looking me in the eyes. What is she doing? I stare at her in shock. Oh no, I spilled my wine! Well, on purpose. 
Now there's no seat for you. Now go home. The staff rushed over to get me a new chair. Don't do anything unnecessary. She's leaving, so it's okay. You guys can go do your other jobs. My husband was just laughing, and he didn't even try to stop my mother in law. All I wanted was to celebrate my sister in law. That purpose has been accomplished. I turned my back on them and started walking toward the exit. Wait a minute! My sister in law grabbed my arm. I couldn't help but burst into tears at the sight of her desperate look. It's okay! I'm sorry I didn't notice before. My sister in law gently hugged me. Then she turned her attention to my mother in law and my husband. She walked up to them and smacked my husband. Ken, you're an asshole. Who should protect Mia? Um. My sister in law didn't give my husband a chance to speak and gave him a hard smack on his face. Don't you say um. I'm asking who should protect Mia. Well. My sister in law's fist goes up again. Me! It's me! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! That's right, it's you! What were you doing now? Well. My sister in law slapped my husband across the left cheek. I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! I was laughing! He's crying. I couldn't help but laugh at my sister in law's relentless attack. But my sister in law is very serious. Everything she does, she does it for me. I really appreciate it. She's letting me vent all the feelings I've been holding back. I guess I can't raise my hand against my own parents. Oh, come on! There's no need to get so angry! I'm just being a little playful. Right, Mia? I just stare at my sister in law and don't react. Playful? And Mia can't even talk anymore. Mia's illness is caused by you guys. Did you tell her about it? My mother in law gave me a nasty look. Then my sister in law laughed at her hopelessly. Of course, Mia wouldn't say such a thing. Looking at the situation, it's obvious whose fault it is, isn't it? And you just revealed it yourself. You guys really are horrible. Mia, I'll get your new seat, so I hope you stay until the end. I'm kicking these two assholes out now. My mother in law and her husband were kicked out by the staff. I'm sorry for the disturbance. Now that the mean old lady and her friend are gone, enjoy the rest of the ceremony. I didn't go back to the house after that. My sister in law got me an apartment. She acted very quickly. As soon as the ceremony was over, she contacted a real estate agent she knew. She put me up for free as company housing for her husband's company. She confirmed my intention, and when I told her that I wanted a divorce, she even provided me with a lawyer. Thanks to this, my divorce from my husband went smoothly. Again, my sister in law supported me, and she recommended that I get alimony from my husband and mother in law. According to the lawyer, she was able to get them to pay more than the typical alimony since they were the main cause of my illness. Three months after the divorce, my illness is under control. There is no cure for this disease, so I don't know when the symptoms will come back. But the source of my stress is gone. I'm hoping that the symptoms will never come back. My husband and mother in law wanted to see me to apologize, but I refused. 
I never want to see their faces again. I don't even want to hear their voices. Mia, are you ready? Yes, sister. Okay, let's go. I'm coming to the US with my sister in law and her husband because they hired me as a nanny and a helper. Right now, my sister in law is three months pregnant. She's planning to go back to her work after the baby is born. She wanted to hire a trustworthy nanny, so she asked me if I would be up for it. I said yes right away. I'll arrange for you to be an employee of my husband's company and we can apply for a visa when the time comes. Thank you. I'm so happy now. I had no idea at the time that my life would take such a turn. I'm really looking forward to the rest of my life. Your mother in law is such a devil to push you to the point where you couldn't talk. And your husband, who just watched her laughing. How pathetic is he? I'm so glad that your sister in law is a kind person. I hope you will be able to spend your life smiling from now on. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you like. See you in the next video.